Alright, here today to open a battle pack box. I opened the wrapping and I thought, oh, I don't have my uh, regular camcorder with me, so I just won't record it. Then I rigged up my iPhone here on top of a deck box, balancing on another deck box. Anyway, so packs, I'm just going to set them back here and uh, put the good cards in front of you guys. Uh, I decided I've been really looking at, uh, you know, this. I was just going to pretty much stop my openings. Uh, until Return of the Duelist, the Tens came out, uh, you know, Samurai, Structure Deck, stuff like that, but I decided a little more. Oh, cool. Star for Pearl and Aragaki. And here's the commons. <clears throat> I'm probably not going to show every single common really fast like that. That's just going to take too long. Uh, I'll probably put some good commons, though, in the front. Maybe move, push the other ones to the back. So, anyway, I've uh, been practicing quite a bit for Nats. Wow, a rare tour guide already. Fantastic. Starfoil. And this was one of the best cards in my, uh, if you guys haven't watched it yet. Yes, I know it's 37 minutes long, but if you haven't watched it, you should really check out the uh, sealed pack, little uh, battle pack, sealed pack play. It was pretty fun. Uh, actually, it was very fun. It was really funny. I mean, I cut out a lot of it. I edited quite a bit out, but it was still pretty fun. Oh, good, a stealth bird. I've been looking for, uh, for those. been really wanting... Uh, the Starfall Stealth Birds, because they're never going to make that card a hollow, and I used to, that's my old school stall burn deck, so. But you should watch that 37 minute video, um, you know, ooh, that's hot, look at that. Call, and Ego Boost. I've got the uh, deck boxes arranged in such a way that it's hard to get my other hand around here to, to open these packs, to, to put them really close, so. Hopefully you guys will bear with me. Another Stealth Bird, not a Star Foily. Um, I'm going to play Evols, pretty sure. I mean, I keep saying I'm going to play Evols, and I keep trying other things, but pretty sure it's going to come down to Evols. Um, yes, I know I'm not going to win. I probably won't even break even. You know, if there's eight rounds, or let's say, let's say there's nine rounds, I hope to go five and four, but I probably <laughs> I probably won't. Starfoil, rare, and a Needle Sealing, which is a good card. That's a good side deck card uh, against Chaos Dragons, unless they have Prime Material out. Okay, Archfiend Soldiers or Starfoil. It's not a bad rare. I mean, some people don't have them. I don't know why I'm showing you the commons. I'm just going to put them right on top. So, I'm definitely going to be buying a case of Return of the Duelist. I might buy more because it is such a fantastic set. Um, or at least I consider it a fantastic set. I think it's a really good set. Um, and I'm interested in, in a, quite a few things in there, the magical stuff. Um, I'm blanking. There's a bunch of stuff. Anyway, I uh, think you guys should check it out. I'll be doing my usual um, little, you know, preview of the set. So that will be coming. Openings. It'll be a lot of openings and a lot of Nat stuff. Between now and after Nat's really not of anything. Uh, for those of you that are also wondering... If I don't announce it before you see this upload, and then it'll be redundant, and I'll be talking for no reason, I'll be announcing the winner of the the ten winners of the contest. So that will be coming up pretty darn soon too. I think I'm just going to export all the names onto a, a spreadsheet or Word or something, print them out. Starfall Mirror Force, that's uh, pretty nice. And Agors, um, and I think I'm just going to go ahead and and do like, you know, out of a hat. That way, if it's completely random, I'll have somebody else choose. That'll be on video, so something like that. The anticipation might kill you guys, who knows. Chiron, Leviathan, Vector Mail. So let me know what you guys think about that. Um, I really w wanna do another contest when I hit 3,000 and do um, something a little more complicated. Okay, and Bribe's cool. I like to go back and do one of those um, scavenger hunt styles that I did that people seem to enjoy. Um, it is unfortunate for those who the time the time doesn't work out for them. Like they can't be in front of the computer when I upload the video, or uh, maybe they're just a different part of the world. Starful Gores is nice. I don't think I actually don't think I have it. Ooh, and a snowman eater. So that's a, one of the better 
We'll just put that there. Probably haven't pulled a chalice or a lance yet. I don't know if I got told you guys. I opened a box once a long time ago and it had 24 Shield Warrior rares in it. Every single rare. Ooh, love that. Even though I have a hollow. Yeah. That's not bad. I actually took Caius out of one of my decks this week and put in Mobius. I know. That's insane. And the but the deck doesn't play chaos or anything, so hey chaos. Hey, that's cool. I like I really like Calculator. I know he's uh, not played anymore, but I just really like him. Always have. Play him with Metal Reflect Slime or you know just whatever you want. It's pretty interesting. Yuck. Not bad, not bad. So two playable common rare. All right, other side here. Yes, these 36 pack boxes take a long time to open. Shackles, Gear Golem, and a Chalice. Good stuff. Uh oh. I bumped my phone. There we go. Zombria. Gachi. And Shadow Spell, the poor man's Venus chain. Dark Dust, that's cool for those of you who don't have Hobby Leagues. Solemn Judgment and Fighting Spirit. Scapegoat, Starfoil, Granosaurus, and Skill Successor. Well, I got a tour guide, that's always fantastic. It makes a play set. I, uh, for those of you guys who don't, Get around and watch some of the smaller YouTubers. Um, I subscribed to go. Actually, geez, that will not come out of the pack. A long time ago, somebody found me. Uh, underworld, not underworld, underground members, like X underground members or something like that. X, and you think I would have them memorized, and I don't. That's kind of shameful. But um, well, two star four pearls in one uh, box is pretty darn good. Anyway, they uh, found me because I had uploaded a Nordic Beast uh, deck profile and a Jirak deck profile, and they, I guess they noticed I was not a net decker, kind of a tier one type of person. That's good, so I'll put that right there. Um, ooh, Caius, Starfoil, that's, that's kind of hot. So, anyway, I, uh, the reason I don't have an extra, I don't have a tour guide set anymore is because I just sent him a set of tour guides to help him out and I don't do that normally but I really respect the team and what they're doing and I their videos are really funny um, some are really immature but I like that immature humor sometimes uh, interesting ideas you know they goof off they make kind of dramatic silly little mini movie things I mean they, they have a lot of they have a lot of fun and I think that's kind of why I like them also they do bring interesting ideas the main guy, oh, a Phoenix chain, fantastic. The main guy there, Anthony, which goes by Kasami Unlimited, he uh, he has this challenge where you go and dueling him on Dueling Network, and he has what they call the six paths of pain, and it's his six decks, and he tries to you have to face him, and you know whoever nobody's been able to beat him yet. On uh, I think I haven't even seen, I've seen one person beat him, and then he the person I think lost on the second second deck. It's your six decks against his six decks. And you already know what his are because he tells you what they are beforehand. Eight Fighter's not bad, but I don't really consider it great. Which was my rare, as you can see. I guess I can push these over and push these up. So anyway, I uh, every time I bump the table, the stupid camera slips. I think you guys should check him out. He'll be. He said he's gonna. Ooh, a Starfall King Tiger. That's actually kind of hot. I want to keep those in the rare pearl. Yeah, I like the uh, Starfall King Tiger. It's the closest we're probably going to get to anything hollow on that card for a while. Okay. Ooh, Starfall Book. Nice. And the Duality and the Controller. 
Okay, looks like we got about five packs left. Camera keeps slipping. Let me readjust here. Sorry, guys. There we go. Also, I'll be traveling with uh, Kiko on the NAT, so you guys will be able to kind of... Some of our videos will be kind of, you know, the same thing, just on our own channels. Uh, he knows more, way more people than I do. I don't know, he just got bigger than I did quicker, and he, you know, is out there getting to know these uh, Cordero and a lot of these uh, Underworld667 and a lot of these bigger Yugi tubers. So... He'll probably be bringing some uh, deck profiles that I won't, but I'm going to try to bring you some that are not the tier one, the guys at the, at the top, rare cribbins. So hopefully you guys will like that. Hopefully you guys are watching these videos and, and subscribe to my channel because you know that I'm not the usual. Wow, another tour guide. Two tour guides in a box. Fantastic. Well... I think that makes four rares, so I can easily just trade one of them off as, as one, and the other i got to get rid of as a playset. Okay, that's cool. I really like that. Ooh, and an Adrius. That's a great box. I consider that a great box. I mean, it wasn't a bunch of tour guides or Adriuses or Tyrus. I didn't get a Tyrus. That's unfortunate. I didn't get any Lances. And a Raven. And a Chain. I mean, I've got some really good cards in this. Oh, wow. Starfoil Adrius. That's my only one. I didn't pull any before, and a Mirror Force. So this turned out to be a great box. Look at that, two Adrius's. How funny. Oh, two Adrius's are gone. Okay, guys, uh, let me try to pick this up and do some kind of recap. It's going to be almost impossible, so you're just going to have to deal with it. Move all these deck boxes over. Don't fall, little Mr. Deck Box. Okay, those are my best uh, commons, so let me move those out of the way. Let's do the uh, Starfoils first. So, I like those two, then I got, let's see what else do I like, Gillis Horse isn't bad, Book of Moon's not bad, I like that, I don't even know what Changing Destiny does, Caius is good, Pearl is great, what the deuce, Zombria used to be boss, god he used to be so good a long time ago, before Goblin Attack Force came out, Gores is cool, Chiron is definitely an underplayed if you play a deck with Horn of the Phantom Piece. Mirror Force is cool. Mirror Force is always cool. Alright, come on. Morphing Char is not bad. Stealth Bird's really good. I'm really happy about that. And another Pearl. So, good, good Starfoils. In my rears. Let me put my elbow up here. Okay, sorry, that was a little crazy. Let me focus here. Focus, Danielson. Adrius, tour guide. Watcha! Adrius and tour guide get to go to the top because they're super special. Awesome. Krebins. Grino. Uh, Swap. Duality. Pearl. Witch. Ring. These are all pretty decent. Demark's cool if you're going to play seal pack tournaments. Of course, that's one of the best cards. Solemn's really good. This is taking forever. I don't think I got a lot of great rares. I consider that a good rare. This is not a bad rare. And of course the other two are good. So, alright guys, thanks for watching. Uh, tune in later for the contest updates and info. And just, uh, you know, I'm sorry I haven't been bringing you promo information. I've been out of the state, so whenever something new comes up, I know you guys are watching other channels like uh, Cyber Knight and uh, getting that info, so that's why I don't just do a redundant video. I don't think it's very informative, but uh, if you want me to, let me know in the comment section, and please click that like button. Later, guys.